Well, all right then there, folks. What is going on? We are back here once again in Paladins. Now, I have just purchased the Founder's Pack, or whatever they are calling it. Yes, the Founder's Pack, which allows me to have 20 loot chests, as well as unlocking all of the champions straight off the bat. Now, I don't know if it does anything with future champions. I don't think it does. So I think those I will be spending my gold on. And, of course, I can still spend my gold on unlocking all of the various customizations and things for champions, etc. So, in this video, as I say, we're going to do the uh, loot chest opening. I've got 20 of them. So, let's just plow on and see what we can get in these. Chest number one. Twelve hundred gold, nice. And uh, don't play that character yet. Might come in useful in the future. Let's see what's in number two. Okay. Uh, none of those are people I'm interested in. Reduce the cooking time of fry. That could be useful, especially if you stack that one up. That sounds like it could be a nice one for Victor. Number three. Okay. Kills grant 8% movement. Again, stacking that, and she's fast to begin with anyway. That could be really annoying. Hit an enemy reduces the cooldown and reversal. I don't know that dude, as you all know from last time. And another 600 gold. Can't sniff at that. I got a chest before from playing games in general, and I got, like, three of these, just, like, 600, 600, 600, and I was like, I'll take it. It's, you know, 1,800 gold just for a match. Fine. I think it was worth leveling up, really, but... Chest number four, let's see what we get. Hmm. Tidal Grace. 50 health per second during Shell Shield. I've played a few games now with this guy as the tank, so that ah, it's nothing to sniff at again, that could be useful. So stacking that again, yeah. Kills reduce the cooldown of saw. I don't know, but anything that reduces her cooldowns is going to be mighty annoying, and another 600 gold, again, I'm happy with that, I'm happy to get all this gold. Okay then, chest uh, number 5. Forgive my voice at the minute, it's a little hoarse. Okay, 7% movement speed, again, she's already pretty manoeuvrable, this girl. It's a different character, but she is also pretty manoeuvrable, so... That, again, is going to be a little annoyance if someone's got that on. Fire spits cooldown. Uh, ooh. Mm, not sure. Could be useful. Okay, let's go on to chest number six. Do, 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 do. Meh. A few things, nothing, again, I'm probably going to be using soon. I am going on to Bomb King as my next character, so I would like to get stuff for him. And I would just like to get some other items. I know I did get a skin for a weapon for one of the other characters. So that would be nice if we got some of those today. Chest number seven. Okay. Another 600 gold. Nice, Ching Ching. Skywarden, the cooldown of Disengage. Mm, yeah, so maybe not the best there. But again, I don't know how well they stack. Let's have a look at just eight. 1200 gold, nice, once again. Kills and eliminations, give him six ammo. That could be good. Again, all right then. So yeah, Victor's pretty, that could be useful for Victor. Number nine. Nine, nine, nine. Ooh, that's a pretty cool boss looking artwork. Restore transporter. Heal for 10% of maximum health after teleporting. Uh, depending how that stacks, that could be nice. Um, I think I've seen that before. Not sure. Another 600 gold. Nice to have. Number 10. Number 10, Bill and Ben, the Flower Pot Men. Uh, Tempest Art, Basque Salvo. Heal for 15 each time Salvo hits a target. That hits quite a well, so that, again, could be a nice one. Health of Sticky Bomb. 
Uh, yeah, I suppose. Again, I don't know. If it makes it so it doesn't just, like, die in one shot, that would be nice. And 600 gold. Again. Gold. Gimme! Let's see what we get for 11. Hmm. Ablative coating, poppy bomb. Uh, poppy bomb? I don't know that move. Okay, well, I've played Bomb King. That name doesn't ring a bell, but okay. I guess we'll find out when we play him soon enough. You cannot be slowed below 40%. Nice, that is a fairly nice card, and I'm sure if we can increase that, that would be excellent, eh? So, let's see what we get on this next chest. 12. 1,200 gold. Cool. Looks like kill. Fireball. Hitting an enemy with fireball recharges 10% of your ammo. Uh, he, rain. he rarely gets in people's faces. So, I mean, he can do, but... Uh, meh. I don't know. Could be useful, could be not. I don't maybe seeing it being part of a, a core build but something to have fun with I guess let's see what we get on 13 hitting an enemy in the head reveals them to you for one second even through stealth cool so if I accidentally hit them in the head all right it would be nice because there are a few characters who even with using pip with these extra stealth detection, still manage to sneak by, like, right next to you. It's ridiculous. Eliminations increase your reload speed. Mm. And 600 gold again. No problem there. 14. 14. Temp art. Temp art. So these are going to eventually get final pictures, I'm sure. Thrust's cooldown, and after getting a kill, reload 8% faster. That could be good. 600 gold. Nicey nice. 15. 1, 5. 600 gold. This is becoming quite a theme. Light... Ah, yes. Lighter cannonballs. Gain 5% reload speed, and hitting an enemy with grenade. That's probably going to be... Okay, I guess. I mean, I don't know. It's not like he's going to be low on ammo that much. Let's have a look at 16, shall we? Give us the goodies. Increase booster fuel capacity and reduce the active cooldown. And what's this? 600 gold. I'll have it. If you're just going to throw money at me, you bring it on, my friends. All right, then. 17. There we go, we have an emote for this chick. She's the sniper one, I forgot her name, but she's normally in yellow if you see her portrait, so eh, that, that looks alright, with the nice big green gun there, the nice Nvidia gun, or optic gun, however you would like to see that colour. Increase the duration of recovery by half a second. Reduce the cooldown of recovery by one second. I, I don't know. You take your pick, make your choice. Number 18. Only two more after this one. Nice. Let me... Get a screenshot. There we go. Don't know why, just... I guess that's like the second time it's happened today. And that's in what? 18, 19 chests. So twice in 19 chests, that's a... Uh, could be a good nice drop rate, could just be pure luck. So let's see what we get on 19. hundred gold. And 7% crowd control reduction. I do like the crowd control reductions because slows can be pretty annoying. And if you get focused once you're slowed, you're dead, you're melted. Sorry about that backdraft. Alright then, chest 20, our last chest. Double top. Top of the shop. 600 gold, increase the duration of crippling throws cripple, so that could be cool, increases the health of your illusions, my god those things are annoying, I mean it's obvious that they're illusions, but I, I don't know, 
Like, once you hit them, it becomes obvious that they're illusions, but again... Uh, do they have any other use apart from just being an, an extra decoration? That could be useful. I could just be missing the entire point of her ability there, but I don't don't see much of a use for that. But anyway, that's all 20 chests unlocked. We had some all right things. We'll find out what's going on there with uh, Bomb King soon Bomb enough. King. Indeed, sir. Bomb King it is. He will be our next character that we shall play. So we'll have a quick look and first game with him. And I think if I can stack up some more chests, it's going to be a while though to level. We shall... Ooh, that's nice. Yep, we shall bring some more character videos. So thank you all for watching this 20 chest opening. And my name has been Mists and I shall see you all next time with more things from Paladins and other videos, other games. Goodbye.